a six-time world champion from the Philippines, Pang chose the new international bowling campus in Arlington to train for his next event. Is there any one award that stands out or honor that, uh, that means the most to you? Well, one of it is right here in the Bowling Hall of Fame. Um, I'm at the entrance and I'm very grateful and it's a humbling experience that um, the International um, Bowling Hall of Fame and Museum um, put a big um, picture of myself. Now obviously, you're someone who's bowled all around the world. You've probably visited training facilities and coaching facilities and training centers all around the world. How does this particular center right here at the IBC stack up against the others you've seen around the world? You can't compare. Um, the International Bowling Campus is the most modern um, facility in the whole world. And um, I salute um, USBC for putting up a complex like this. What about the coaches and the coaching facilities specifically here at the IBC? How do they stack up against coaches and coaching facilities you've seen around the world? This facility is the most modern um, facility with regards to coaching and um, all the researches has been really unbelievable. It's um, mind-boggling and um, I'm here to um, get some updates on it. On another topic, Peng, there's been uh, some buzz in the last couple of years about the possibility of a global pro bowling tour. Um, I was wondering if you personally would like to see a global pro tour. I'd love to see bowling be um, pulled all over the world as a tour, as a professional tour, and it's one step forward so that bowling will be um, included in the Olympics someday. I'd like to see that happen. What do you think it's going to take for bowling to, to get Olympic recognition? Well, we're on the right track. Um, professionals are allowed to bowl in amateur events, and um, there's no distinction between professionals and amateurs. And second, um, I th to put bowling, give it more exposure, I think, especially in other parts of the world, um, give it some exposure in media. TV, newspapers, print, and other um, stuff. Are you in a transition now between competitive, your competitive bowling career to coaching? Is coaching becoming really the dominant passion for you at this point in your career? Well, not really. It's more of my passion for the sport. That's why I've been um, doing um, coaching stuff for the United States Bowling Congress. And um, I still compete whenever I have the time. but. Um, I believe in USBC's goal to um, put bowling into the Olympics someday and this is one way, in my own little way, um, that I can help through um, developing more coaches globally.